Welcome back. My name is Jessica D. Perez. I'm a plein air painter painting in the open air. Follow me as we adventure out in the field. On this episode of Out in the Field, we are meeting up with another plein air artist. She lives out in Ashland, New Hampshire and is gonna take us to one of her favorite painting places. We've arrived and I'm excited. Here we are with Jessica Flig. She has been so gracious to invite us to her studio and she's coming out with us to paint out in the field. And we're going to, what, a lake? Yes, yes, it's a big swamp. Big swamp. Well, I love painting water and she likes painting nature. So that's how we got to come together and do this. <laughs> this is my studio. It's a little bit hectic in here, but. <laughs> I started back when I was really little with my great grandmother. I was like four or five years old and we would draw weekly together. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. I always knew I wanted to be an artist. These are mostly all plein air paintings in here. Um, I do like little studies and I do a few larger studio works from my plein air pieces. And I'm participating in the Strata Easel Challenge this month, painting every day for the month of September. This is like the office storage area. This was a huge thing. Having a sink. sink. Yeah, the <laughs> sink is important. It is. Before that, I was like always using the bathroom sink, and then I'd be like scrubbing the sink to get all the paint off of it. It was ridiculous. How long have you been painting? Since I was in probably middle school. I had really good art programs all the way up through school. Nice. And I studied painting at the New Hampshire Institute of Art for uh, a couple of years. Is this something that you do full time or are you? It is. And I'm so thankful to have uh, parents that are understanding <laughs> because there would be no way I could do it full time if I didn't have a place to park my camper. Yes. And, uh, so it, it just works out really well. They're very supportive. You're working mostly with oil paints? I am, yes. Do you have a favorite piece? I don't know if I really have a favorite piece right now. I mean, there's parts of pieces that I like. So I I like the one in the gold frame right there on the bulletin board because of the experience of it. I was painting and that little fox ran across in front of me. Do you find that going out into nature is a really good way to learn some lessons? It is because a camera can't capture what you see visually with your eye or what you feel. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's actually in towns. It's one of the last covered bridges, I believe, that was uh, pulled across by oxen when it was put in. That one I painted, it was in, in the winter, and I stayed in my car to paint that. It's just downtown. You probably drove by. It's a <laughs> pizza place down there. And so that one I like clamped to my steering wheel to paint mm -hmm. and I had like Prussian blue all over my car when I was done. <laughs> Jessica is going to show us her mobile painting studio. So this is Susie. We rebuilt it from the ground up. So oh wow. I um, bought her off from Craigslist mm -hmm. and she was Mouse, rat, squirrel infested. Holy cow. <laughs> Every, like we had to tear everything down. There's loads of storage. It's, it's very convenient. Cause I used to go to the events with a tent. <laughs> right. Oh, this is so great. I love it. Thank you. All right, I'm ready. Yes.
Thank you so much for joining me here out in the field with Jessica Flick. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, make a comment, and share this video. Happy painting, be adventurous, and until next time.